What happened to the remix? The remix became a marketing tool and a BDS spin generator. So the art form got taken out of it and the dollars got put into it. See, this is the thing. It used to be when it was a remix, it was a new beat, new, maybe even a new producer, maybe some new rhymes. If you ever notice now with the remix, is there's new rhymes. I mean, there's new rhymes and be new artists, but the beat always stays the same. Nobody ever stops and asks, why does the beat stay the same? It's because if you change the beat, the computers that run BDS won't pick it up as the same song. So the whole point is to get more spins. So let's just say we have J Electronica Exhibit C, right? And it plays and it gets, I don't know, 10,000 spins. And then we have J Electronica the remix, uh, new beat, new rhymes, new everything. And now Puff is doing my part over screaming and yelling as we proceed, right? The computer is so different from the original, the computers won't pick it up. So it doesn't count as more spins for the record. Obviously, the way they track how well your record is doing is by tracking the spins. So if we keep the beat the same and just add some new rhymes, computer will pick it up as the same song and instead of having 10,000 spins for version A and 10,000 spins for version B, you now have 20,000 spins on one record, which looks better on your BDS report. The radio station isn't sitting there saying, okay, we played this song, this song, this song. It's just the computer that tracks all that. You know, so the computer has to be able to recognize it as the same song, which is why DJs also can't play it too fast or too slow, because then the computer won't pick it up either. It seems retarded on the outside, but you think about it, it makes sense. You track how successful your song is by how many times the radio station has played it. So if you give out the original and they play it 10,000 times and you give out the remix with the same beat, the computer tracks it as the original 10,000 more times. So now you have a 20,000 spin and your song is a hit. I mean, it's unfortunate for the art form, but commercially, you know, that's where it's at.